basic concepts of chemistry. So, in this chapter, most of the concepts which you will be studying is like you know what you have already studied in 9th and 10th standard. Okay? The first concept what you should know before going to write the either the chemical equations or anything is the mole concept. I hope many of you know this. Okay, so, what is this mole concept? See, when we go to like you know the uh, shop, and suppose we want to buy vegetables, then we uh, like you know ask them the vegetables in kgs. Okay, then if we want to buy some fruits, we ask them in dozens. If it's something liquid, then we say we want it in liters. But when, uh, whenever we take the chemical compounds or elements, we use the measurement as a mole concept. Okay, now what is this mole concept? Suppose let us take for example. I want iron. So, we will not ask you know I want 1 kg or half a kg of iron right. So, this one I will call it as like you know I want 1 mole of iron ok like that. So, now first to calculate that you should know the atomic weight ok. So, what is the atomic weight of iron? Iron is 56. So, we will convert this into grams. Atomic weight will be in grams ok. So, 1 mole is of iron is 56 grams. Suppose I give you 56 grams of iron, that means you are giving me 1 mole of iron. Okay? So, now suppose in case I am giving you 100 grams, 100 grams of iron. Okay? So, you can't say like you know I have given you 100 grams, you have to convert this into mole. So, what is that? Given weight by the atomic weight. What is the atomic weight of iron? 56. So, this was approximately 1.78, okay. So, you have given me 1.78, like you know, moles of iron. So, this is how we express the chemical element or compound. Suppose now, let us take a compound, for example, let me take glucose. So, what is glucose formula? It is C6H12O6. First thing what you have to do is because this is a compound, okay, now or a molecule, so first we have to calculate the molecular weight of this. So, what is the molecular weight of this? So, this is 6 carbon, so 6 into atomic weight of carbon is 12 plus hydrogen is 12 into 1 plus 6 into 16. So, this is 100 and 80, okay. The molecular weight or molecular mass of glucose is 180, okay. Now, so let me consider this as grams. Suppose, so 180 grams of glucose is equal to 1 mole of glucose. Suppose I give you 90 grams, okay. So, as I told you, given weight by molecular weight, so this is 0 0.5, so given weight by molecular weight will give you the number of moles. So, if in case I give you 90 grams that means you have given me 0.5 moles of glucose. Okay, so, this is the mole concept. So, we have to always express any compound or an element in moles. Okay. Now, next thing what you will be learning in uh, like you know you have learnt already is balancing the equation. Only when you balance the equation like you know your calculations will be right. So, to write the balanced equation, we call it as a stoichiometry, okay. Now, we can express the stoichiometry in different ways, okay. Let me take an example. Methane, when I react with oxygen, gives carbon dioxide and water. This is basically your combustion reaction. First thing, as I told you, we have to balance the equation. So, one mole of methane, okay, will react with two molecules, okay, of oxygen to give you one carbon dioxide and 2 h 2 So, this is a balanced equation. So, how I can express this is, suppose I want to call, take it in terms of moles. So, you know this is 1, ok. 1 mole of methane reacts with 2 moles of oxygen to give you 1 mole of carbon dioxide and 2 moles of water, ok. When it comes to molecules, I can express this in the same way. So, you have taken 1 molecule of methane again will react with two molecules of oxygen giving you one molecule of carbon dioxide and two molecules of water. When it comes to grams, convert this molecular weight into grams, ok. So, what is methane? Methane is around carbon is 12 plus 4 that is 16 grams of methane will react with 32. So, this is 64 
grams of oxygen to give you carbon dioxide is 44 grams and water is 18 into 2, 36 grams. So all this, if I want to express in grams, you have to just convert the into, the, calculate the molecular weight that will be expressed in grams, okay. Now coming to volume part, okay, so this one is completely different, okay. We always take the standard volume as 22.4 liter or 22.7. Why is that difference? Because one thing they would have cal calculated in atmospheric pressure, the other one they would have calculated in bar pressure. So let me take one thing. So that is 22.4 in atmospheric pressure, okay. So as I told you, one molecule or one mole is equal to 22.4 liters. So this is all in liters, okay. Now we will react with two molecules of oxygen. So just convert this. So to Two molecules means the volume will be just double now, 44.8, okay. Now carbon dioxide again is one mole or one molecule, so this is 22.4 liter and this would be again two, that is 44.8. So this is the calculation we have to use. So I will just repeat, so for any chemical calculations you should know the mole concept thoroughly and also you should know the balancing, only then your calculations will be correct.